Hi everyone, in this video tutorial, I'd like to take a look at what zero order means in the context of the differential rate law when you're talking about the kinetics of a reaction. So when it is said that a reactant is zero order with respect to the rate, what that means is, no matter how I change the concentration of a given reactant, there will be no change in the overall rate. So if we take a look here, we see that this is our rate and this is our concentration. And as our concentration changes, we see that there is no change in the rate. This is a depiction of what it means to be zero order. So now if we take a look at it in another context, let's see that this is my overall reaction, 2A goes to B. And if we find out experimentally that the rate is constant and it's equal to the rate constant K, and A does not feature in it, so meaning no matter how I change the concentration of A, my rate is always what it is, we understand that this reaction is zero order overall and zero order with respect to A. We could look at it here as well. So here we have 2A plus B goes to C and D. Now if you look at the overall rate, we have the rate is equal to K times the concentration of A. Notice though that B is not part of the rate law. That means B would not be part of the rate determining step and B therefore has no effect on how fast or slow the reaction can go. So overall, this reaction is first order because it is first order with respect to A, but with respect to B, it would be zero order. So that's one way to understand what it means to be a zero order reaction.